Bible says, I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. One popular book today, a book used in some seminaries, is John Murray's book titled Redemption Accomplished and Applied. It was required in my small Presbyterian Bible college here in East Tennessee. And so, I will show you two mistakes John Murray makes concerning the doctrine of the atonement. Murray's first mistake is his unbiblical claim that the reprobate receives numerous benefits from the death of Christ. John Murray writes the following, and I quote, the unbelieving and reprobate in this world enjoy numerous benefits that flow from the fact that Christ died and rose again. End quote. Redemption accomplished and applied pages 61 and 62. Murray offers no verses to support this claim, but then we shouldn't be surprised, for this theory of universal atonement is not found in Calvinism. Murray's view is one that holds Christ's death as having other ends besides saving the elect of God. Compare Murray's quote to the teaching of Puritan John Owen. In Owen's book, The Death of Death and the Death of Christ, probably the best book ever written on the atonement, John Owen states, and I quote, that there is any other end of the death of Christ besides the fruit of his ransom and propitiation directly intended, and not by accident intending it, is utterly false. End quote. The Death of Death, 2-3, page 216. John Owen again writes, and I quote, it is frivolous, for it cannot be proved that there are more ends of the death of Christ besides the fruit of his ransom. End quote. The Death of Death, 2 3, page 217. John Owen again contradicts John Murray when he writes the following, and I quote The sum is that the oblation and intercession of Jesus Christ are one entire means for producing of the same effect the very end of the oblation being that all those things which are bestowed by the intercession of Christ, and without whose application it should certainly fail of the end proposed in it, be effected accordingly, so that it cannot be affirmed that the death or offering of Christ concerned any one person or thing more. End quote. The Death of Death, 1-6, page 181 this time. So we see that Puritan John Owen did not believe that Jesus Christ died for the reprobate in any sense. Let's look at another mistake from John Murray's book, Redemption Accomplished and Applied. Murray writes, and I quote, The mediatorial dominion of Christ is universal, end quote. Redemption Accomplished and Applied, page 61. John Murray's assertion here is that Christ is the mediator not just for the elect, but also for the reprobate. This is not Calvinism. Let's take a look at John Owen's book again to see the correct position. Owen, considering the possibility of a universal mediation, states the reformed position very clearly. He says, and I quote, Not one word of this general mediation for all. End quote. The Death of Death, 1-8, page 190. John Owen again writes the following concerning Christ and the possibility of universal mediation. He states, and I quote, Nay, if you will hear himself, he denies in plain terms to mediate for all. I pray not, saith he, for the world, but for them which thou hast given me. John 17, verse 9. End quote. The Death of Death, 1-8, page 190. Well, let's look at another passage, this time from Jerome Zankius, which refutes John Murray's notion that there may be some type of universal atonement and universal mediation for the reprobate. Jerome Zankius writes the following, and I quote, This is self-evident. God, as we have before proved, wills not the salvation of every man, but he gave his Son to die for them, whose salvation he willed. Therefore his Son did not die for every man, all those for whom Christ died are saved. 
and the divine justice indispensably requires that to them the benefits of his death should be imparted, but only the elect are saved. They only partake of those benefits. Consequently, for them only he died and intercedes. End quote. Jerome Zanchius's Absolute Predestination, Position 9, page 15. Well, John Murray's mistakes on the atonement have led others into the same error, and just consider where Westminster Seminary, Philadelphia is today. The Doctrine of Limited Atonement teaches that Christ died only for the elect.